we've just finished rehearsals and tomorrow we're going into tech so I thought this might be quite a good time to try and record some stuff show you a little bit of what we experience going to the theatre because writers in tech don't have anything to do so I'll have a lot of spare time and I've just charged my iPad so it feels like a good time to to record things. This is Kitty. Kit, say yeah. Good work. Oh, you time that's. She's never that good. That's great. Kit. Kit, we need to do. You need to do your scene now, mate. Before I go into rehearsals, I've just popped out to the shed to show you something that I've been working on that I think we're going to use in the play. So there's a bit in the play where the characters do a bit of a skit about Lou's GCSE art coursework where um, they, Ryan and Pete reveal that they, they did all her GCSE art coursework for her. So um, yesterday what I thought I'd do, we've been building up a collection of uh, drawings to put in a box of GCSE art coursework. Well, I thought there weren't any paintings, so we finished rehearsal a bit early yesterday and I went and did paintings of trees. Look, that one's like a Cezanne. Uh, hard, hard to say what that is. Uh, that's mostly a fence um, and a cherry tree. Uh, that, As if they were done by 15-year-olds. That's my defence and I'm sticking to it. They're meant to be bang average. But I'm going to try and get them in the show if Ray doesn't veto it, you know. Okay Kit, can you show me how to get to the theatre now? Thanks for that Kit, don't know how I'd have got here without you. <coughs> Great thing about the bridge is, no matter how bad the show is, it's a pretty cool place to come. It's, it's all okay. going on here. Here's Maisie, stressed, busy, happy not, to not see you. Yet. Oh, not stressed, that's good. And uh, here's the set. I thought it might be an emotional moment, but I've actually already seen the model box, so it's basically just a bigger version of something I already knew about. So, bit of a crisis, minor crisis. Um, the climactic moment of the play was meant to be a speech that Claire Skinner delivered to one of the farmyard animals about how she feels about the whole play, how, how gutted she is about everything that's happened, really dramatically lays out what's gone on. And we went through a lot of casting, we looked at pigs, um, we looked at geese, and we looked at ducks as well. But we decided Kitty would be the best idea, Cat would be the best idea, because cats are such good listeners. And um, we've got to taking that scene and she's refused to go on. Kitty's just not going on. So uh, she said she won't work with Claire Skinner or children. Um, it's gutting. Don't trust Batsy Cats. That's the lesson that I take from this. Um, and we're just going to have to do the end of the play in a slightly different way, she'll have to deliver the speech to someone else instead. 